Good morning and welcome to O45 Media with Evangelist Gloria Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day, which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing ahead all the time in the tent of the righteous. Glory, hallelujah, 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 amen. We have every reason to thank God for His faithfulness. We have every reason to bless Him for being our God. This morning we have come before a God that lost us so much. A God that will not turn his back against sinners that will come to him just the way they are. The hands of our God are always outstretched towards sinners, waiting for us to come to him. Amen. Today, God is there with us. He eats with us wherever we go. Let us be reminded always of the abiding presence of God in all of our situations. One may ask that where is God when we hear about terrible things happening around the world. We are hearing stories about violence in different parts of the world, even in this country where we live in in America. We are against God. Be reminded this day that God is in our midst. Amen. That God is aware of every situation that we may ever pass through. Amen. The word of God says that we should not fret when the evil ones triumph in their evil deeds. Amen. God is giving all of mankind time to repent from their sins to turn back to God. Because our God does not delight in the death of a sinner. He created us. He sent his son to die for us. So when violence is increasing amongst us, we are hearing of terrible things, horrible things being done, devast devastations taking place around the world. Let us know that the glory of God, the power of God is also increasing. Amen. Because prophecies are being fulfilled every day. Let us begin to pray that the Spirit of God will reveal to us the times and seasons that we are passing through so that we will not become fearful of the things happening around us instead. Let us be prayerful and commit the entire nations of the world to God. Let us trust God that the words he, the words he has spoken over us are, have gone out into the spiritual realm to accomplish the purposes for which he has sent them forth. And those words will not return to God empty. Those words were sent for to help us in this world, to reveal to us the times that we pass through, to encourage us to continue to run the course that God, God has set for us in the name of Jesus Christ. The words of God, the words have gone out to instruct us, amen, to enlighten us so that we may understand spiritual truths, the things happening, so that we can turn our back away from evil and follow God. Amen. The word of God have come today. The words of God have come today to rebuke us, to discipline us, to encourage us, to help us, to empower us. Amen. So that we know exactly what God exactly what God wants us to do. Do not become fearful. Do not become discouraged. Do not become overburdened by the cares and worries of this world. Do not become overburdened with anxiety that you do not know what may happen next. Everything relating to us and our families and nations are in the hands of God. Everything relating to the body of Christ is in the hands of God. And the word of God has gone forth that the kingdom of hell shall not prevail against the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ has established the church on a solid foundation. Amen. That on this rock, he has established the church that nothing shall prevail against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe the truth. As violence is increasing, and we don't we have every reason to rejoice that more people are becoming more aware of the knowledge of God to a source. More people are renouncing foreign religion, turning their back against uh, household gods and coming to God. We are hearing about testimonies of people coming to God. Amen. Coming to God and accepting the salvation of Jesus Christ. So let us be aware that God is in our midst. Amen. As we read from the book of Exodus, that God will not utterly destroy the enemies of his children at once. That it will not be done in one day. There is order in the spiritual realm and there is order in the way God carries out whatever he wants to do in the nations. That he does not want the violence, the evil in the bush, in the darkness to come in at once. Amen. To devour his children at once. So he does this in a systematic way. Amen. So let us thank God that we, that our lives are involved in the spiritual warfare that God is carrying out upon the nations of the world. That we are involved and God is using us. Let us come to God as instrument of righteousness. Let us come to God, holding on to the truth and believing that we are mighty in the hands of God to do great works for him in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't even we stand against the counsel of God. God has spoken concerning us in the name of Jesus Christ. Where we have offended people, where we have offended nations, we are asking for forgiveness. We need to ask for God forgiveness. We need to come to God to plead the blood of Jesus Christ for those things we did out of ignorance. 
those things we did out of fear it is fear that drives mankind to do things that that are irrational things that people will say why why did you do this why did you react in that way May we pray that the love of God, that that spirit of God in us will continue to lead us. Amen. That fear will not lead us. That every wisdom will direct everything done in our nations. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we commit our leaders unto the hands of God. That our leaders will be men and women that seek God. Not those that walk about blinded by the gods of this world because they have gone to the wrong places to ask for political power, the influence to ascend to position of leadership in our nations. We are tearing those veins of blindness of their eyes because they are the children of God that they may see. They may see and hear that people crying out for help in the name of Jesus Christ. We are also praying for the uh, for the body of Christ that our spiritual leaders will be in the forefront of the things relating to the kingdom of God. That they will stand on righteous ground and that they will stand confidently using the, the gifts that God has given to them to do great works in the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That wherever they go, they will continue to speak as oracles of God. Speaking on behalf of God as the prophets did in the past. That they will do and say they will stand up without being fearful of men. That they will not be men pleasers but the pleasers of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That they will uphold the great commission and stand up and empower their congregations to be people of prayer. That, and, 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 uh, empower their local assemblies to be houses of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they will uphold the great commission. That they will go out, send people out, ordain ministers to go out into the nations. To win souls for the kingdom of God. We just thank God for all the outreach work from the house of God. We bless God for those that are doing good works. Those that know they are calling, that they are not compromising with the world. They are following the spirit of the living God. They are living in accordance to the will of God. They, 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 they follow God in all they do. They search the world. They study the world. And they, they empower their congregation to also study the word of God. We bless God for their lives. We thank God for the things that God will continue to do through them. Wherever they go, the word of God will continually be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their paths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They bring the good news of salvation to the nations. We pray that God will encompass around them and their families with his holy presence and no evil shall prevail against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for a congregation of God's children empowered to do good works for God. A congregation of God's people that do not only show the love of God within their local assemblies, that take it out and apply the spiritual principles that they have been taught in their churches. They use it in wherever they go. That people know that these are truly the children of God. We are praying for a congregation of God's children that will stand up and lift up the banner of Jesus Christ. That will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ. Wherever they find themselves in the government, on their jobs, that they stand up and say, no, I cannot do this because the Spirit of God is upon me. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for the peace of God that surpasses human understanding to dwell amongst us. We are praying that we be considerate of one another in the name of Jesus Christ because we do not know God. We cannot have any fellowship with Him if we cannot love our brothers and sisters that we see every day. God has laid down the standard Amen. The standard through which we may have any relationship with him and it will never change. We need to change our sex. That you do not know me. That you cannot have fellowship with me if you cannot love your brothers and sisters that you see every day. When we talk say uh, brothers and sisters, we are not referring to those born in our families. We are referring to the gods of God's children all around the world. Irrespective of their nationality, races, religion, cultural beliefs, amen, tongues and languages. Amen. We do not look at the color of men. We look inwardly. We do not belong to those that look at the appearances of people and are deceived by what they see. Look inwardly. Look inwardly. While well, God looks inwardly, if the Spirit of God is in us, we have to look inwardly. We have to try the spirit, the spirit of everyone to see whether it's of God. We draw close to people because the Spirit of God is in them. We encourage people because the Spirit of God is in us. We preach the gospel of salvation to people, making people know the truth so that people will not walk in that path that leads unto destruction because the Spirit of God is in us and God has empowered us through Jesus Christ to do so in the name of Jesus. Today, we are praying for families that will be strengthened by the Spirit of the living God. Families that are made up of a union between a man and a woman. That's the truth. Whether you believe it or not, it's the living word of God. It's not my word. It's not the word of any man, but the word of God. We feed on the word of God and we apply it to our daily living. It does not mean that we hate our brothers and sisters that have decided to marry male to male or female to female. But we want them to know the truth. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, let them go back to the Old Testament and say that God has placed a curse on anyone that will use a natural sexual um, organs or sexual that the, the, the desire, the natural sexual desires, that they will use it wrongly towards the same sex. That there is a cause from God. So that men can turn back and know the truth. Do not be deceived. Even if a government uh, issues policies and decrees encouraging you to do what you know is against the will of God, you are going to stand before the judgment throne of God, not your government. You will stand before the judgment throne of God. So you think about yourself, what you are doing. Is it in line with God's word? Is this the way God wants me to live? How am I going to carry out the mandate of God upon my life in the nations? How am I going to be able to reproduce, to multiply, to conquer and to replenish this health? If I marry a man and I'm a man, I marry a woman and I'm a woman, I'm allowing the enemy to use me for evil purposes. God wants me to multiply. That's the way that people know that I'm a child of God, is by being fruitful. Today, we want you to take a moment to reflect on your own life. Is we are calling ourselves to self-examination. It's not about being righteous or judgmental. All of us examine and says, what are we doing? Contrary to the will of God, we need to turn back to God in the name of Jesus Christ. For God has given us this, this ministry of reconciliation. For us to go out into the nations to preach the gospel, to do good works to the, in, uh, in His name. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us walk with God. Let us turn back from God. We pray that every seed of defilement sown in us will be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray that the will of God be done in our lives and in our communities. Our hands are outstretched to us and God today. In praise, we thank Him for all that He has done for us. We bless Him. He is God. We thank Him for His living word. We thank Him that He has empowered us. We ask for forgiveness in ways we are falling short of His glory. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon our sins, upon our leaders, upon our nations. We thank you, God, for the help we have received from you. We thank you for giving us, Father Lord, encouragement today, for giving us strength today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, our Father. There's no God that's did. We say the praise. We say the honor for all you have done for us. Today, as we have come before you, we forgive all that have sinned against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We near at the feet of Jesus Christ anything in us, not of you in Jesus' mighty name. Our living God, this morning, we bless you. We bless you. We say there's no God that's did. That God alone. You have given us the truth. We are passing on the truth to our children, Jehovah God, and to our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. That your children may see. Oh, Rakashen, that I understand the times that we are passing through. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit unto your hands, O Lord God, our means of transportation around the world. Help us as we go about our businesses, all down the hands of those coming against us. We commit our law enforcement unto your hands, O Lord God, direct them. Let every wisdom lead them in things they do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we present our government to you. All in position of authority over us, that they will seek you, Jehovah God. We pray for your children in our government to do good works for you, to stand on righteous ground, Father Lord, to prevail against the forces of darkness. We tear that strong voice in our families, in our nations, in the body of Christ. Anything done, not of you. Arise, our Father, and help us. Let your enemies be scattered. We thank you, God, for being our God today, for coming to our rescue. We thank you, God Almighty, for sending forth your word to heal us of our sicknesses and diseases. We thank you for the inner strength you have given to us to prevail against forces of darkness. We are flying today free, O Lord God, in the freedom you have given to us and our families, your God, for you have broken every snare. Oh, Rakashin, be that exalted, O Lord God, we bless you. We have a sender of a Bobo Shendra, but you are a good God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the marriage institution, a union between a man and a woman. We are married men to female. We are passed on the tradition to our children. They will marry men to female. In the name of Jesus Christ, we carry out your marriage upon our lives in the health. Jehovah, we bless you. We may be sent of a Bobo Shendra. We silence every voice of opposition. We come in a strong voice. We pull that empty standing in our path today. Jehovah, you are leading us to victory. We thank you that we are victorious. We are hearing shouts of victory and rejoicing all around us. Thank you, God, for sending forth water to heal us of our sicknesses and diseases. You have rebuilt cancer on our behalf. You have touched our blood pressure, our blood sugar level. You have flushed out excessive water and fat from our body. You have touched all the organs of our body, Jehovah. We bless you this morning. You are touching the hands of the medical personnel taking care of us. You are touching the nurses, Jehovah God. They are doing good works in your name. You have rebuilt those that are gathered together for evil purposes. They are falling into the pit. They have dug against your children. Jehovah, we bless you for silencing all of God, the voice of opposition. Position in our families, the exclusion of the strong man and woman, and pulled up by the power of the living God. Father, you prevail in our midst, Lord God. We thank you for fruitfulness in our homes. We thank you, God Almighty, that your daughters are united with their husband in holy matrimony. And every him is sent out of and in ministry work. No weapon fashion against the union will prosper. We bless for the good and perfect children 
you have given to us, Jehovah God. We bless you for our children and all issues on the Father's table. We bless you for blessing our children, Jehovah God, for lifting up their heads and using them mightily in our communities. We thank you for separating us and our families from everything evil. That our God, be that exalted in our midst today. Thank you, God, for being our Father and ever. Thank you for setting tables with us in the presence of our enemies today. Thank you for anointing our heads with oil. As we go out into our communities, communities today, we call in your name. We come back in your name. Glory be to your name for shaking the foundation of evil wherever we are gathered. For going against those Father, you Nigeria incessant and child labor, those bringing pornography and, and drop into our community. Jehovah God, you have pulled them down by the power of the living God. We thank you that no strange gods, Lord God, will reign in our families, Jehovah God. We tear down for the covenant taken by ancestors coming to your will. Nothing will truncate the destiny of any child in this generation. You are our Father. You are you are guiding our hearts, Lord God. You are giving us everything we need today. Thank you for touching our parents and giving them the strength of God in all this to continue to do good works for you. Thank you, Jehovah God, for anointing their heads with the oil of gladness. Today, you have touched all that are mourning the death of loved ones. You have reassured them that you love them. We thank you that our loved ones are resting. Thank you, Jehovah God, for what you alone can do in our midst. Glory be to your name, our Father. We lift your eye for your faithfulness. There is no God that see. As many, oh Lord God, that receive Jesus Christ, that believe in the name of the Son of the living God, that is our Lord and Savior, he has given power to become your children. We are your children, the redeem of our God. We know it and we are saying so. We are claiming the promises in your word, Jehovah God. It is where with us, wherever we go. It is where with us in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. It is where with us in our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for souls coming to your kingdom. Bless you, God Almighty, for what you will do in the house of God. We thank you that we are united in one purpose in Christ. No weapon fashion against us will prosper. We give you a clap offering for all you have done for us today. Glory be to your name, our Father, for being the God who helps us. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory, hallelujah, 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 amen. The Lord reigns, blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May our God be exalted in our midst today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, glory, hallelujah, amen. I want to make reference to one verse from the Bible. Glory, hallelujah, amen. And it's from the book of 1 John. Glory, hallelujah, amen, chapter 12. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Yet to all who received him, to those who believe in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of God. Have you received Jesus Christ? Do you believe in his name? Do you, do you believe in the truth that God has passed on to us? We read yesterday that God has blessed us, that in the fullness of the grace of Jesus Christ, the grace that is in the life of Jesus Christ, that is upon him, that God has blessed us for one blessing after another we have received from him in the name of Jesus Christ. And we read that, amen, that from the fullness, that's the, from, uh, from John chapter 1, the gospel according to John chapter 1, that's verse, verse 16. That from the fullness of his grace, he has, we have all received one blessing after another. Amen. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. But God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made him known to us. We read yesterday that Jesus Christ was with the Father right from the beginning. Amen. That it was through him, the Son of the living God, that God created everything that we see today. Everything that is alive today. Everything that we can imagine God created through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We cannot separate Jesus Christ from God the Father. It's God the Father that came in the Son and he dwelt amongst us. Amen. And people testified about the good things he did. That from the fullness of that grace in him. That he has blessed us from one blessing to the other in the name of Jesus Christ. That we have received blessings from him. That that through him, that grace and mercy was brought to us. We thank God that we are before the mercy seat of God today. Let us not turn our back against God. Let us receive the salvation of Jesus Christ. We have just heard that he gives us power to become the children of God. That as many that received him, as many that believe in the name of the Son of God, he gave them power to become the children of God. We are the children of God. We need power. To become the children of God, God, not through the will of man or through flesh and blood, the way we were born, but God Himself will make us His children. Amen. Through the will of God the Father, we are His children in Jesus Christ. Amen. So today, may we receive the salvation of Jesus Christ and hear wisdom crying out to us. May we not turn ourselves back against God. Let us hear wisdom 
crying out to us in our homes, in our street corners, wherever we pass through today, in the name of Jesus Christ, may we not walk on that or on that path that leads to destruction. May we turn back and receive the mind that God has brought to us. So that we receive all the blessings that Jesus Christ has brought to us. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We thank God for this morning. We bless him for the time that we are spent in his presence today. He has empowered us. We are fed on the living word of God. Remember, as many that will receive him, as many that will believe in the name of, of the Son of the living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he will give power to become the children of God. Amen. And we will be blessed. He has brought goodness to us, blessings to us. He has brought the peace of God to us. He has brought healing to us. He has brought life to us in this world. Abundant life in this world and entire life in God's kingdom. Death cannot hold us captive in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe in the power of God at work in our lives. As many that received him, as many that believe in him, he gave power to become the children of God. Glory, hallelujah, amen. God loves you, we love you to be blessed today. Glory, hallelujah, amen.